What's up guys, this is my first video and today I'm going to be showing you my favorite brushes, I guess you could call them, in Fire Out Packet, which is the drawing thing that I use for, or that I'm going to use for my videos, future videos. First of all, we have the pen, which, in my opinion, isn't the best for drawing. Maybe after you sketch out your drawings, you could, like, I don't know, highlight them, maybe? Something like that. And then we have the pen fade in and out. I don't really use this one up that often. As you can see, on the ends, it goes thinner and skinny. I don't know. That one's just weird. I don't know what you'd use it for. And then, whoops. Then we have pencil. You can do a light. If you do a light, then it goes really, really bright. And if you uh, do hard, it goes darker and darker. That one's okay to me. And then we have eraser the eraser which isn't really much of a brush edge pen it kind of does an outline i don't know what you describe it but you can see on here it's weird and then there's an airbrush i don't really like this one unless you're doing like graffiti art i don't see what you'd use this for and then there's the watercolor. Eh, it's sort of like a marker. It's not my favorite. I don't really like it. And then there's blur. I'm pretty sure this one. Yeah, it like blurs out. Marker. It's hard to tell with a watercolor, but it does work. And then there's a smudge. This one's weird. I don't see what you'd use it for. It kind of like, it's kind of like if you're rubbing your finger across something. And then we have the fire alpaca. It's just stamps. Fire alpaca stamps. I don't see what you'd use that for. And then there's leaf. Which is like, I don't know what you describe it as. It's just weird, like all the others. And then there's flower. I haven't even used this one yet. Oh yeah, it's just like the leaf one, but with flowers. And then there's particles. So little bubbles. And then there's flat brush. This one's weird. I don't. The only thing I can see this as if you're drawing like car driving, this could be like the smudges of the tires. And then there's the stars, just like the other particle ones. And then we have the stem, just like the other particle ones. There's a lot of particle ones in here. And then. We have arrow. Again, this could be like a motorcycle tire smudge. It could be pretty cool. And then there's a lightning powder pattern. I don't see what you got. Use that one for either. And then there's the marker. This one would be okay for like sketching maybe, but it's not the best. And then there's fluffy. This one's also okay for sketching. Symmetry. This one's pretty cool. It's like if you, whatever you draw on one side, it ends up on the other side as well. So like say, I could draw a heart like this. There. Yeah, that one's just, it just draws symmetrical things. So if you're really into that, you could use that. And there's symmetry rotate. That one, this one's really close, cool. and it's one of my favorites. It's not just two sides, it's multiple. 
And you can maybe like draw like flowers and stuff with this. Or a star maybe. Yeah, you could do some cool things with that. And then we have thorn. Another particle one. And then there's symmetry rotate two, the second one. I like this one better actually. <laughs> you could do cool things with that. And then this one's my personal favorite for like sketching things. It's kinda like you're using like a pen or a pencil sketching or drawing out. Example. I like that. It's really smooth. And then we have, I don't know how to pronounce that, Teigami. Another particle one. And then the very last one is polka dots. If you're like designing a shirt or something on a character that you made up, you could just add polka dots to it. And that's about all the brushes. So, I hope this helped you out on which brushes to use so you don't have to go through them all by yourself. And, yeah. That's all I have for today's video, and peace.